have to spend that time. Got him! David Page strikes early. Jason Berendorf, who? Yeah, that's out of character there for Matt Short. He's tried to advance down. Very well bowled there by Payne, attacking the stumps. I've had two back on the leg side to take away his strength. But that's a huge start there for the Perth Scorchers. And the strikers are one for one. This is what Payne does bring. He does keep the ball full, attacks the stumps. Gives the ball the best opportunity to swing, and that one just did enough to go through Matt Short's gate. And look at the excitement there on the Perth Scorchers' face. Yeah, I don't think they'll be forgetting Jason Berendorf anytime soon. He's been brilliant in the power play, but uh, what a switch up that is. Short goes for a duck. For what? It's in the air, but there's a catch on. And it's taken. Takes one hand off the bat. Miscues it straight to the field of Travis Head. A disappointing end after a couple of useful boundaries. Yeah, a couple of good boundaries there by Travis Head, but unfortunately David Payne has tipped, taken that crucial wicket of Travis Head. Unfortunately, Travis's short innings comes to an end. He just lost control there his bottom hand, just trying to overhit the ball. Simple catch in the end. It's been a great start here by David Payne coming into the team because Berendorf's out. Just look here, just lost control of his hands there, Travis said, just tried to overhit the ball. Strikers now, two for 16. And the softest of dismissals, David Payne probably couldn't believe his luck with that one. There's uh, an anti-climax for Adam Hose. He gets the four away and then he gets dismissed in the power surge. Payne with three. Just as you thought they'll build in something. The soft dismissal there, once again, moving outside leg. Did with a lack of pace. Knocked it back there to Payne. Eight for 77. It's going from bad to worse. Hose for 30. He tried to keep uh, their hopes alive, but unfortunately has to go. Eight for 77, the strikers. 